we what's going on youtube it's donnie p all day it's a post christmas edition and the only thing that i asked for for christmas this year the only thing i asked for literally i asked for one thing was this not an empty cardboard box with a little vial of oil in it that comes with it or just a warranty that has two names on it um no no no, no. i asked for this tactical division i hate that um knives a uh, knife uh, one knife or one life one knife um so uh, this is the only thing the only thing i asked for for christmas is the only thing i wanted which is really weird because i don't like tactical stuff i do combat vet 12 years in law enforcement i don't like tactical stuff normally it's really corny and really gaudy and really just like uh, this is what we believe somebody who's never served or never been in law enforcement believes that people who served or people who are in, oh, people who are in law enforcement want. That's what they usually make. Not this one. Designed by Tops, right? Designed by Tops, one of the most well-known knife companies in the world, but made by Italy's own Fox Knives. And if anybody knows anything about Fox Knives, you know that Fox makes some of the best knives on the freaking planet. So when Tops designed this, and they said, all right, let's do a collab with Fox. I don't know if Fox wanted to do a collab with them or they wanted to do a collab with Fox. However it worked out, it was smart. Tops designed it. Fox made it. This thing is ridiculous. Now, I told you I don't like tactical stuff. I see all the time. Oh, I crack a lacquer. I, I see all the time. Oh, this is law enforcement knife. Oh, this is military tech, blah, blah, blah. And it never is. It would, they're generally never something I would ever carry. This one I saw, and I don't know why. I just fell in love with the pictures, and I went, you got to be kidding me. Now, this is really hard to find, and I may have gotten the last one of this on the planet that's brand new in the box. You might be able to find them used, but I don't know if you'll be able to find this brand new in the box as I did. Um, I found it on a website. I told her what I wanted. Um, I found it on the website. I sent it to her. She bought it immediately. And I'm glad she did because immediately it went off the website as in out of stock, discontinued, whatever. Um, and uh, one of the viewers, one of you guys sent me, there's three of these, not these, but um, three for sale. And two of them are the Tonto tip, which I'm just, I, I don't like the, the Tonto tip in this. I really wanted this modified clipper. Um, which I just think is gorgeous. Um, it's the commando knife shape. I love the, I mean, the predator tip. I love the predator tip. Um, but uh, they have a smaller size and then they have the Tonto tip. Um, and I did not want those. I searched, I mean, searched for a long time for this model, this exact model. And um, so the three that are out there are either smaller or Tonto, um, not this, but if you can find this, holy Moses. So now let's get into some of the specs. Uh, the blade is four and a half inches long. It's big. It's 10 inches overall. The blade material, oh, the, you can feel it kick open. I mean, it's like a, it's like the kick of a gun. Um, blade material is N6, uh, N690CO steel. This stuff is amazing it's g10 in the scales and i have to say the g10 is phenomenally done as far as grip you can see that it is hollowed and skeletonized and just everything to make the weight right in the hand um, to make the heat and sweat transfer through the hand to give grip when you're wearing gloves in the hand it's made for the hand and look at this size right you're talking about my hands. This thing is huge. Um, it's awesome. It weighs 9.5 ounces. Um, and it says right here, um, this was actually created by God himself. All right, so I'm telling you, if you can find one of these, find one of these. Now, disclaimer, I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something. I couldn't wait to play with it. I was playing with it and I was doing all kinds of stuff. And during a during a, a little twirl exercise I was doing, I accidentally dropped it, and it landed like this on the tile, hard tile, and I damaged the edge a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell because I fixed it, 
but I didn't rehone it. You can see there's a little flat spot right there. It's because I had to peel off. I mean, I went like this, and then I went like that, and it literally hurled itself, bam, into the ground on the tile and damaged the edge. It's not made for hitting stone tile, right? Um, but it happens. But I fixed it. I fixed it for now, and I'll make it better. Um, how well did I fix it? Let's find out real quick. Let's find out if it is still crazy sharp because I know out of the box um crazy sharp let's see <laughs> yeah I think um it didn't take much to keep this thing happy but and it was even sharper I think when it came out I just gave it a temporary attempt I mean that is as smooth look at that as smooth as you can get that's baby bottom smooth right there um I just gave it a temporary fix just to be able to test this knife because you know I don't like testing a knife that um, isn't brand new out of the box. I, I love a brand new edge. There are exceptions. I have tested plenty that weren't brand new and I have one coming up and I'm going to actually show you. I'm going to show you sent by Colleen McCrory. <laughs> this thing is dope. So I can't wait to get into that. That's going to be a fun one. I have to send it back to her though. Uh, sad, but um, today it's all about the Tops CQT Magnum 747. Now it says on the blade Y-118. Doesn't say 747, so I don't know. Maybe it's because of the size of a 747. I don't know um, why it's 747 instead of Y-118. But it is what it is. I don't care as long as it's awesome. And this thing is a freaking tank. It is a tank, and I'm so happy. Uh, let's go over just, just real quick. We're going to take it outside, jimping in the rear, non-aggressive jimping to the point where it's going to um, give you hot spots. Um, jimping here, jimping here. It's got a great thumb rest. They put it there instead of here, which I appreciate. I'd rather in the handle than on the blade. Um, again, it has the uh, Predator tip. It has lashing areas, wire bending areas, things like that. Um it's it's just awesome. You do have a jimped liner lock. You have a pocket clip that uh, is reversible. Um, and it lanyard, I mean, it's thumb studs. Everything you want in a real law enforcement knife, a real tactical knife, everything you want is right here. But we need to find out if it works. So let's stop this and go do this. All right, come on. All right, so let's take this thing outside. There's not a whole lot of sun, but you can... You can see, I mean, it's black, so it's going to look a lot like it did on the inside. But um, it, it, it's just so big. In my pocket, I have the O-Knife Zilla. Big knife. This is the one I customized. Look at the Zilla next to it. I mean, this thing is big, man. It is a big knife. This is a big knife. This thing is freaking huge. Um, and I, I wanted to do this review because I really, really needed to carry this. Um but golly, as far as like self-defense and fighting, um, fighting knife for a flipper, this is probably one of my favorites for that. Um, and I knew it just looking at the photos, you know, um, what I did is I drew it out on paper and then I was trying to give a rough estimate measuring the mean and how it would work. And I, then that's one of the things that made me buy it as I said, this thing's done really well. Um, so I told you that this is the only present I actually asked for. Don't get me wrong. It's not the only thing I got. I mean, we do Christmas really good in this house. Whoa, this one's this one's the official guy right here. Um, so, yeah, it's not the only thing I got. But it's my favorite. All right, so let's get over to the stump and start this. Now, it is um, really cold out here. It's really cold. The ground is frozen. I believe it is right now 29 degrees, somewhere in there. Um, it's cold. It's cold. All right, so let's get to the stump and boop, have some fun with this guy. Man, that thing is it, its so big and burly, man. It hits with a thud. All right, so let's start with the nylon rope. Now, remember the edge I ruined, but then I did fix. So half inch. Um, now <laughs> I must have done a pretty good job. Um, and I'm telling you, it was sharper. That was the probably one of the easiest um, cuts I've ever had on the half inch nylon rope. Let's go now. I tell you all the time with flippers, I don't like to do this 
test because it's really hard to get all the way through. But as I said, this thing is a beast. It's not your everyday folder. This thing is a monster. So let's see, we got four layers of leather belt and sweet, man. Just sweet, man. I got to uh, get another stick. Let's, um, let's do a little chop with this because this is one of those few folders. And I always say it's a folder. It's not a chopper. This thing chops like a beast. And, uh, you know, I started saying that before I started chopping with it. And it's just because I understand knives. I haven't chopped with this. So don't think I'm, I cheated. I came out and practiced with it. No, um, I measured it, <laughs> but it was really easy to see how good it was going to be even before I took it out just because I understand the blades. You know what I mean? I just understand it. Um, and I, I knew going into this thing that this thing was going to be animalistic. Um, just absolutely crazy. Awesome. Awesome awesome and more awesome on top of that golly that was in there um just really really a, a badass a badass piece and um it's just I, I have no problems wiggling this um because it's built so so good there's zero movement in there dropping a tile floor did nothing to it all right so let's um let's go over here now, it's not built as a skinner, so I don't know if it's going to be able to handle the plastic mesh. Um, but we're going to try and figure that out real quick. Um, we'll see if this thing does a good job here. <laughs> All right, so it verily, uh, verily, it very easily can outperform the Mora on a cutting task like that. Um, that was that was actually really really simple. Um, how about soccer ball skinning? Um, yeah, oh, golly, golly, this thing is just freaking awesome. Right there through the hard part, through the bind, no problem. Um, gosh, gosh, I'm so impressed with this. I'm so, it's not every day I hunt down a knife because I have so many and I just knives. Okay, it's like, okay, well, that one looks cool. That one looks cool. This one I hunted down. It was something that was a must-have. I don't have many knives like that unless I design them. Um, like when I designed the Big Jim, it was because it was a must-have. It was a grail knife. I don't have grail folders. If I was going to have a grail folder, this is as close as it gets to a grail for me as far as a folding knife is concerned. Um, it's <laughs> You ever hear the, the term too cool for school? The, I think they, they wrote it about this. All right, let's see. I'm trying to avoid any. This is the dog's areas. So let's see. Let's see here. Look at this. Look at this. It hits. <laughs> Are you kidding? I hope I was, I hope I kept you in there. Um, I got to do some more. We got to do some more, guys. This thing is awesome. So this is, for its size, I'm going to say, the best chopping folder I've ever used for its size. Now, trying to avoid all the landmines, and let's see here. Bam, bam. This is a folding knife, not a chopper. Not a chopper. Let's see, I got a, a big vine here that's grown out of the ground. No problem. Um, it, it says tactical but I can literally find 101 Dalmatians of use out of these. I mean, literally, just all day. Every, you know what, let's try a spine whack on a stick. Let's try that. Let, why am I whispering? <laughs> it's not a secret. All right, let's see. Let's try a spine whack. And <laughs> I just realized I had my hand in a full grip here. If I if something happened with the lock, this thing would have closed in and cut off my thumb. But look at this. Look at that from that's how hard I hit it. Ah! <laughs> I was thinking in my head, look it's still tight. Perfect. I was thinking in my head, 
I'm gonna spine with like a like a fixed blade. I didn't even put it in my mind that I might kill myself. <laughs> Always thinking. So um the lock works. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Still <laughs> yeah, no problem. You hear that? You hear that? I hear all that wiggling from smashing the spine? Literally, that was a full swing. I didn't chintz that. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, that. My friends, that was stupid. If you're a knife reviewer, a, an aspiring knife reviewer, um, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do what I just did. That was dumb. All right, so... Um, <laughs> Oh, the wood's all frozen. This is a pretty knotty piece. It might be a little too wide, though. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. There we go. There we go. All right. That. Look at that. That is a hard piece of wood. That's sycamore and frozen. <laughs> but moly moses now i should be closing more because it's a liner lock it's not made to baton with Ugh. oh that was close that was close it did start to close and almost came down on me but you see look my fingers are still there um let's see after doing that remember it's a tactical knife this isn't made this isn't made to be your camp knife but sometimes sometimes you just do to do you just do to do all right let's take some of these and, and get some kindling going okay so that kind of stuff's going to be all day i mean i went through that hard piece there's no warping in there there's no bad spots in there there's no nothing going on in there it's just look at this look at this man man oh i dug in deep on that one look at this so Let's try some pulls. Oh, golly. This thing is sweet. This thing is sweet. Let's do some, some forearm pulls with the side grip. Oh, gosh. Um, this is just an all-day knife. This is an all-day knife. Um, I'm so glad that there was one for sale. I'm so glad, so, so glad, because I saw it and it wasn't a factor of, wow, I really want this knife. I needed it. I went, that's a knife I have to have. And, uh, hey, 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 hey. Hold on, my dog's about to kill somebody. Some dogs interrupting my fun. Um, so, <laughs> long story short, this thing is a beast. Um, I, I'm so happy that, uh, I was able to find this because man, it is a absolute performer. Um, it's big, it's heavy, you know, but not too heavy and uh, it's getting even better to open. I, I didn't think that was possible. Um, I wonder if I could snap it. Yep. Uh, wow. This thing, uh, this thing exceeds all expectations. It is just so, I mean, it's so tight. It feels great. It's amazing in the hand. <sighs> Happy birthday to me, Merry Christmas. Um, so, that's not my birthday. I'm gonna get a lot, if I do that kind of thing, I'm gonna get a lot of, Happy birthday, D-Bat. Um, golly, I'm just trying to find something I don't like about it. And um, it's awesome, it's awesome. I'll tell you what, um, there, I think there's only one video done on this, a use video on the Tonto tip version, and he got it used, but check out Scab. Um, he changes, it's not Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. I think it's just Choir Boys Outdoors. Choir Boys with a Z at the end. Um, I think it's just Choir Boys Outdoors. But look up, he did a video on this, the other version, and... Uh, I wish that he could have had it brand new, but he did have a good edge on there. I think whoever sent it to him, maybe JR, uh, put an edge on it. That, that was a very, very good working edge. Um, I'm just excited that I got this out of the box fresh um, and ruined it right away. <laughs> um, but golly, 
golly, this thing is, you need a large knife. You don't always need cold steel. You just got to go right here sometimes. Um, gosh, this thing, I can't believe I took a full spine whack. Not even thinking, not even, if that thing closed, it would have done this. It would have come down and it would have hit right there in the webbing of that thumb and it would have just gone straight through. I don't have a doubt in my mind. It would have tore me up. Um, but this thing's going to be riding with me. This thing's riding with me. All right, so that's it for this one. Great freaking knife. If you can find one of the other models, I guarantee you it's going to be um, just as good. It might not be as big and it might not be this, but you could find one that's going to do you some good justice. All right, that's it for this one. I am Donnie B all day. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, until.